I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and I'm here taking a look at the Huawei Ascend P7, a 5-inch Android KitKat smartphone with an extremely skinny body. By looks alone, there's not a whole lot to separate the Ascend P7 from last year's P6. It's physically a little larger, but it's still incredibly skinny at only 6.5mm thick. The metal back panel has been replaced with glass, it maintains the rounded bottom, and it has the same metal iPhone 4 style band around the edge. The glass panels help make it look pretty classy, although it's very difficult to tell the front from the back when it's in your pocket, which can be frustrating, and its lightweight makes it feel a bit cheap. On the upside, Huawei has moved the headphone jack from the stupid spot on the side to a much more sensible place on the top. The 5-inch display has a full HD resolution, which makes icons and small text look crisp, while its fair brightness and decent colours makes Netflix shows perfectly watchable. Inside is running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, although you can't really tell as Huawei has heavily skinned it with its Emotion UI skin. It's not one of my favourite Android skins, largely because it's done away with the app tray, meaning you have to keep all apps and widgets scattered on the home screens, which can be very awkward and cluttered. It is customizable with themes though, and there's a simplified version if you're not too familiar with Android. It's running on a 1.8 GHz quad-core chip, which is slower than the 2.3 GHz chips you'll find in Sony and Samsung's top-end phones, and as such, it didn't perform nearly as well on benchmark tests. It has enough power for day-to-day -day tasks though, and handled gaming adequately. The only time I really noticed a slowdown was when I had to wait several seconds for it to render large photos on screen. Around the back is a 13 megapixel camera with an 8 megapixel camera on the front. That's a lot of pixels for a front camera, so it's clear that this phone is geared towards selfie lovers. The 2500mAh battery, meanwhile, should keep going for a day if you're careful about what you're doing with the phone. Although the Ascend P7 is certainly skinny and it's not too expensive, its unimpressive power and sometimes awkward interface makes it an acceptable, albeit a bit of an uninspiring choice. If you can find the P7 on a subsidised contract with a good deal, it's worth a look, but some of last year's flagships could be a better choice for the money. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and this is the Huawei Ascend P7.